Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Just love you, Tree. <laughs> Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Sharon. Good evening, Martin. <laughs> Hi, Trees. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi, Leona. Happy hump day, y'all. It is hump day, right? Golly. Yeah. Cannot. I cannot. Thank you. Still confused with my days. Oh, and FYI, I did um, splatter my white shirt yesterday with uh, black. You know, of course. Of course I would. I mean, who wears a white shirt when you're going to be painting black in the first place? Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Anne. How are you? How's everybody doing today? Thank you. Hi, Dana. Hola. Hi, Sheila. I know, right? I just really want to see her dancing, though. Like, we need to figure out how to get one of those little cameras on while she's doing that. Because I think it would just be a freaking hoot. My shirt? My shirt? Look, I thought, like, okay, it's so hot today, right? So how about... I don't, I don't wear long sleeves and then I don't have to turn the fan on. And well, that didn't work because I had to turn the fan on. I had a hot flash as soon as the uh, music started playing. Hi, Sheila Teagan. How are you? How are you? So um, I was sending out telegrams and apparently this time is a really popular time right now because I see everybody's going live. So <laughs> I was like, ooh, hi, Wendy. How are you? So I'm combobulated because Amazon just came. I think this is like a joke now, right? Amazon comes right when I hit the live button. He's like, let's just see how good of a hurdler she is and if she'll fall flat on her face one of these times when she's jumping over everything. Hi, Joy. How are you? God bless you, son. Let me, I heard you sneeze. God bless you. Here. I know. No, that cup is no good. Look, don't pour it in there. Let me fix it first, son. Troy, let me fix it. Good evening, Jill. Hi, Sheila. Troy, let me fix it. The bottom is all messed up. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Ay, ay, ay. Chaos. 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 <laughs> okay, so. We are going to, um, hi, Sandra, Troy, Troy, all of our friends are saying hi. So we're going to finish up the bottle. Oh, we're going to attempt to finish the bottle today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you some of the things that happened because <sighs> Troy's. <laughs> um, because as patina sets and it works in into your project and, you know, it has now become like all of the colors have been cut, become one. And although very pretty, right, um, it's a little too monotone for me. So we're going to have to figure out what to do to, uh, to bring out the definition or we're going to have to put, you know, I don't know. We have to figure something out because I'm not digging the way it looks right now. Um, it's beautiful, but I just don't like how it's all one tone right now. Hi, Barbara Ross. Thank you, Margaret. So let me figure out what's happening with my phone because I don't know. It's gone crazy because uh, I don't want it dinging the whole time we're in here. All right. I got it. Okay, so let me get my desk on the screen. Troy, we're not going to do this today, son. You're not going to mess with me this whole time again and laugh. Can you get Mama a tissue, though? Okay, so hi, Helen. How are you? It is very beautiful. It's so pretty and dark what's happening. Um, but. Do you guys see what I mean? Hey, hey, Angel. Do you guys see what I mean by how it's right now, it's all one tone? Um, even though we have the silver patina in there, um, 
But in order for us to really, you know, bring out some of the definition and of the bottle, we need to get some different colors in there, if you will. Not colors, but different tones. Yeah, it needs a little pop, right? Um, yeah, exactly. It seems like it's flat, but it's not. Troy, get a tissue for Mama so I can wipe your nose properly, son. Uh, here. All right. So what I'm thinking is we will either use the white gold from Posh Chalk, the Shimmer Glaze, <clears throat> or actually we might use the 24 quick carat. So where's two? I was liking the silver because in the Pintart uh, metallics, there's a lot of the silver reflect that comes through. So it just kind of all like mushing together. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Jackie. I agree. Need some tones to pop. <laughs> you had good sleep last night, Martin. That's awesome. Okay. So let's start playing with a couple of these that I pulled out and see what we can do to make this stuff pop out. I am Cheryl. I hope you're having a great day too. So this is the um, Posh Chop 24 Gold Metallic. I don't know if I want to start there first. I don't know. We'll just play or not. If I can't open it, we won't. <clears throat> So how's everybody's day going? Where's my little cheater? I have a, like a little cheater thing. I wish I did, but instead I was playing with photos again and working on <laughs> new photography. What is happening? I didn't even just put lotion on my hands. Hi, Lucia. How are you? I usually have one of the, you guys have probably seen it, looks like a, like a cooking mat. Um, oh, for goodness sake. But it's a gripper. Oh, there it is. This thing. Good Lord have mercy. Holy guacamole. All right, well, if it keeps doing this, we aren't going to use the 24. Maybe this is a sign. That says, no, don't use me. I'm going to run my palette knife up into here and see. Hi, Nicole. Popping in for a moment. Oh, my God. I sure do want to know what is sticking. You had a lot of meetings. I did just put the heater on it. The thing is, is I don't remember mm, 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 mm. using it. No, Troy, put it on the charger over there, baby. I don't remember using it to get anything on it. I know that I opened it, but I don't think I've used this one with you guys yet. If I can't get it open right now, though. Yeah, I did heat it. All right, I'm over it. Mm. So, mm. let's go this way. Mm. All right. So, we're going to grab the gold shimmer glaze. And, wow, we look at that. It opens so easy that it almost went flying. Okay. So the shimmer glaze, just like the um, pearl white shimmer glaze, this is the one where you can um, get a tissue over there, Pops. Right there, Bubba's. You're struggling. You don't have to, baby. This is the one that you can put on. And don't be afraid. It's going to go on looking a little crazy. But then we can wipe it back. And I can already tell that's not what I'm looking for. 
So we're just going to play and see. So, um, honey, now you got to come over here. You got me the tissue. Actually, let's see something. So if you can't tell, uh, we were a little late getting back from taking Trevor because Trevor wanted to take Onyx on a walk at the on the campus um, because I bought him breakfast this morning. So he was like, well, I don't have to eat. Can I take Onyx on a walk? And I went, well, you know I have to go home and get ready for my live, right? Okay, I don't think you guys can even see what it did. Um, there's a little bit of gold that's sitting kind of like in the crevices, but it's still it's still coming in too much tone. So, hi, Tracy. Oh, thank you. Hi, Miss Kathy. Hi, Teresa. How are you guys doing? All right, so let's, you know what we might have to do is just put some gold wax on here. Because the gold wax is definitely going to bring it out and pop. But I'm trying to, I was trying to stay away from the gold because I use it so often. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Hi, Betty. How are you? You know, when you, I don't know. If you got you, you know, when you have OCD and stuff starts bugging you, that's what this jar is doing to me. And I don't even want to use it at this point. I just want it open. <laughs> it's like you can't beat me. Okay. So the next thing I will try is just a little bit of the white gold. This is also the Posh Chalk. So now remember, my discount code does work on the Posh Shop items too. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this and mix in just a little bit of water. A little bit of this is what goes a long way. So before I put a bunch on, I'll just mix in a little bit and then we'll take actually a stipple brush and see what this gives us. And you guys will see it right away once it once it changes and what I'm talking about, it's once it pops, we'll all know. It it'll all kind of be like, ah, okay. Yep, that's what it needed. So hi Helen. I, I'm 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 getting really irritated with it, Sue. I, I don't even want to use it at this point. I just want it open. <laughs> it's like <sighs> okay. So this is the white gold, and I'm just going to okay. You can go ahead and put it over there, baby. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, you guys can't see. You're too far. Okay. I don't like that either. Well, hi, Regine. How are you? <clears throat> All right. So we are going to take some of our Old Faithful. We're going to go with our gold metallic wax. Or actually, since we're going to go back and use a gold... Let's play with some of our, the new Posh Talk ones that I've gotten. Because as soon as we, as soon as this one hits, I already know it's going to make it pop. I was just trying to avoid doing the gold, but uh, Radiant Gold, I don't want that tone. This is the word that, you know, we all had such a fun time teaching me how to say that one. Can't see it. That one. All right. So I'm just going to use the same brush because I really didn't. 
All right. So now as soon as this, see what I'm saying? Old Faithful. So now you can see what I'm talking about. It takes it from, now it pops off the bottle again. And now you can really recognize and see all of the beautiful molds and the details on here now. Instead of it kind of being like a monotone. See? Yep. Hi, Patty. Yeah, no, that one didn't work either, the, the white gold. Do you see what happened now? So let me show you. So look at just even right here as opposed to right there. So, you know, I mean, sometimes you got to, you know, you got to stick with the stick with works with what works. So we will do this one and then we'll go in with the chameleon and really bring these two together. Now I still do like, cause it's kind of like we just mixed metals because you can still see the um, silver patina that we put in there, which is beautiful too. So I'm not going to necessarily cover all of the silver patina, but again, we just needed another something on here to bring this all to life, if you will. Okay. Now I'm, now I'm getting ha happy, 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 happy. Hi, Marianne. It does make it pop. Hi, Annette. How are you? So it is a gorgeous day here. <clears throat> the sun is out. It's actually like, it's not cold, but it's not hot. It's that perfect, you know, sit outside and just soak in the sun. So we'll see if it sticks around though, because I can see out to the east, there's some, some clouds, dark clouds that are still hanging out out there. So hopefully it doesn't move this way. Look at that. Is Shelly Stacklin here? Hello, Shelly Stacklin. Okay. Let's get. So we're basically using this as our wax, per se, or highlight. Um, I'll be honest, I still would have put down that patina because, again, it's got that two tone that's happening and I really do like it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll come in mm -hmm. and do the mm -hmm. bottle as well. So you can mm -hmm. see I'm getting a little mm -hmm. bit of the edges. Um, I'm not worried about it because I will run the gold on there as well. Troy got a new phone case and a new pop socket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your glasses, they're right here, Papas. There you go. So look at that. Hi, Judy Stalker. How are you? Fifty-two. Yeah. What? It's yeah. Your your internet's on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Your Bluetooth? 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, over here? Troy, Mama's got to do this. You like it? Thank you. I'm going to put it here in this case so you can grab it. It's just enough. It's just what it needed, right? And then look at our little, our little pretty angel. And then let's get our flowers up top. So what I just did there at the top, we will do, we'll work that into the bottle as well, the body of the bottle. All right. So before I go in with the um, chameleon white gold, I am just going to take and I'm going to hold it way out at the end so I have the lightest touch. And just kind of bring hints of that gold into the body of the bottle as well. So I'm not going to reload my brush because there's more than enough on there just to work, you know, the color in and kind of blend out what happened when I was going around the molds as well. And then I've told you guys, if you ever have a spot where you, you know it's too much, you want some of it off, just take your transparent clear wax and then it'll take it right off. Oh my goodness, so much better already. Can you see that? Hi, Barbara. Loving how this bottle is turning out. How old is Troy? My Troy Troy is 23 years old. 23. Troy's my oldest, Trevor's my youngest. So 23 and 22. Oh my gosh, it'll be 24 and 23 at the end of the year. Goodness gracious. Okay, so now. You guys, I li always like to bring it together with the um, chameleon white gold. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush, but I also want to get another one. My Kate, my thing fell earlier, so now all of my brushes got combobulated down here. Sorry, I think I'm shaking the camera. Okay. So this is going to be my clean brush, what I use to work the excess off. This is going to be what I use for the chameleon. So very soft, fluffy bristles. Let's get that lid. Hi, Karen Atterbury. How are you? All right. So I'm going to work that into my bristles first. Again, I want to flick it, so I'm going to hold it out far and let's oh my goodness there's just something that the chameleon wax does that just makes me happy <laughs> all right and then let's get around that top as well. Hi, Sandy Triplet. Aw, uh, thanks, Karen. I've been taking care of a very sick grandson. Oh, he still can't. <sighs> Goodness gracious, Karen. Well, like I always tell you guys, all, everyone, I always, always say, you guys are always in my prayers, so. We'll get that little guy better yet. All right, let's take this out of here because I think it's distracting and it's in bulky in my way. What I should do is bring out my turntable 
so I don't have to keep handling it. That's why I made the turntable. Okay, and we still will put the dark in there too. And then I was also wondering if we should um, crackle the bottle, but we'll see. All right, I think that's everything that we used that we had out. Hi, Diana. Aw. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Lynn. Again, Tracy, another urn. You guys, every time I do any bottle shape, canister shape, you guys always tell me that it looks like a urn. All right. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Put uh, white gold on my finger. So, am I underneath? I am. So, let's go out here again. And we're just going to. Again, we're just. We're not going ev over everything, but. I do want to work that in. So now see how there on the bottle was too much. So that's why I have a clean fluffy. For one, I can't get down in that area with my fingers. So a clean fluffy brush is always your friend. And let's work. And I'm actually right here on this flat spot right here. I'm going to go a little bit heavier right there. No. <clears throat> it, Tracy, honestly, so when I did the glass canister, somebody said, that it, not just somebody multiple people were like oh that looks like an urn then i did that vase with the um stone effects piece and where i was like i don't know what this piece is supposed to be because the lid opens and then everybody was like an urn <laughs> like you guys trying to tell me something <laughs> there's something i need to know All right, so it's, if you can see just from, I'll try to hold it at an angle where you can see both at the same time. Oh, I know, Tracy. No, I think it's just, it's just funny. Like, are you guys going to do something to me that you need my, I need to put my ashes in somewhere? Hmm? I need to watch out. <laughs> um. Anyways, Tracy, you're new to me, but it, I could. I dish it and I can take it. So I don't mind, it, you know, any of that. I think it's all in good fun anyway. So if you um, can see, this up here has the chameleon and down here, not yet. So if you can see, it's just a little bit, right? It just almost like it marries those, that gold together with the, the base color. Has, I mean, it is a chameleon, so it does take on um, all love. Absolutely. Oh, you'll see. These guys, if I do something, they, they'll they they'll get me. I'm surprised Sheila Teagan hasn't uh, mentioned that today's day number three yet. But she probably will if I uh, don't finish the bottle today. Hi, Linda. How are you? So, again, you can go, you know, as light, as heavy as you want with this. I always just kind of use it just to bring them together. Um, I do want to make sure, though, that I'm getting around, you know, to the edges. Because I want it, 
off the bottle, right? So if I, like here, there's no color definition as far as from the green, no separation. So I want to make sure that I hit the edges as well. Because there are 3D parts that are on the bottle, so we want to make sure that we treat them as and give them that. Oh my goodness. A genie bottle? Hi, Sandy. Plus size genie? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's what I was saying when people were saying that vase um, looked like an urn. I was like, good Lord, you could put a couple of families in that thing if that's an urn. That thing is huge. Ah. Ah. I know, Troy Troy. All right. Oh, my goodness. It's a beautiful. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the fleur de -lis as well. Um. No special reason, just because I like how it has that flat area, so it really reflects. All right. So I'm pretty sure this is where I started. So let's just make sure we've got all of the edges here. And I will do the bottom. Um, I just, you know, since I'm rolling it around and all of that, I'll do the bottom last. So that way, as I'm turning it and doing all of this, it's not just scraping it right off. Ha! Look at that. These are, yes, so I've used these for years. They're the Real uh, real Techniques brushes. They're in my Amazon store. Um, these are so fluffy and, you know, the bristles are so loose that they're perfect. Um, I've seen a couple of people have started to use makeup brushes now, and it. It's just one of those things that, you know, it helps move when you have any buildup, especially when your fingers can't get into, like, the nooks and crannies. Look at how precious that little guy is now. I hope you can't see him. Look at that. Isn't it sweet? I used to love. Hi, Tina. Sandy Triplett said, hi, Troy Troy. What do you want to put in there now? Uh, yeah, you're going to put in all your stuff. Where are you going? Are you, are you leaving me again? Um, Where? Where are you going? No one's trying to leave me. All right. So, look at that. Are you? I used to love I Dream of Jeannie, and I swear I did everything to try to make my nose wiggle, and it just wouldn't wiggle, and I was, like, determined to do it, and it wouldn't ever wiggle. I was like, why? Because, you know, if it wiggled, then maybe I would, you know, be able to do cool things, but nope. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to... Run the brush without it loaded with anything else. Where are you trying to go? You can't go without me. You can't go without me. You don't have a driver's license, you silly goose. 
So I'm just going to go help blend where there might be anything caught up. And then also just a little bit of the chameleon also into the bottle. Just so everything is blending and there's no, you know, definition start stop. All right. I like it. I like the vase better than any other. Oh, thanks, Helen. Nose wiggle. Oh, oh, the genie. That's right. Nose wiggle was bewitched. The genie was the. <laughs> so my ponytail would be way up here <laughs> with her. Hi, Miss Monica. Yep, exactly, Tina. That was I, the genie with her arms crossed and her with her ponytail way up here. So now let's take a little bit of our, so I am going to come in with the Poshock Patina in black. Now, a lot of this is already done for me because, because we started out with the black base, right? So after I did the bonding primer, we painted it all black. And there are some shadows that are already happening for me because that's what I was saying. I wasn't too worried if I didn't get that sparkling green on every everything um, because I'm going to come back in with some shadows anyways. So since I didn't really use that. So I'm going to take a longer handled stipple brush just so I can not put so much pressure. I can really... I know, Tracy, isn't that? <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Hi, Bondia. How are you? All right. So, same thing. So, Miss Monica is um, on tonight. So, if any of you were looking for her on Monday, she's actually going to be on tonight. Monica, look, I have my new pretty on. So, uh, Miss Monica is the one that I get all of my jewelry from. So, everything that you guys see me wear, um, you know, 99.9% .9 of it is from Miss Monica. So, it's paparazzi jewelry. Everything is $5. So, she usually is live every Monday. Um, but this week, she moved it to today, Wednesday. So, if anybody's interested... All right, so I'm just going to come in here. And I know some, you know, people don't like this look. You absolutely don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I'm just going, it's almost, you know, we're just putting that natural shadow that would happen. And because this is the patina, It's going to blend very nicely, and instead of me actually wiping it back, I'm just going to use, again, the fluff, fluffy, boy, got to be careful with that word, fluffy brush. And then can you see what that does? Hi, Carol. Hi, Kathy. I'm so glad I found you guys. Hi, friends. I have a craft page, Drew, just too shy to go live, but my craft page is... Crafty Therapy. Oh my gosh, I love that name. I love that name. Well, you are more than welcome to come in under your business name, Tracy, so that people can follow you. I absolutely do not mind that. Um, I also have a group called um, Crafting Chaotix, uh, where you are... If you do lives, you can most certainly post your lives in there. I know you said that you're, you don't do them just yet, but you're most welcome to put your projects in there. Um, anybody is welcome to put whatever their craft may be in there. And then that's also where all the information is for the Zoom meet and mingle that I do once a month. 
So I actually don't know if you guys noticed, but I did put a poll up in there for the next meet and mingle for March. So if you haven't selected a day, um, you know, of what you think might work for you, you might want to. Mm. Mm. And don't mm. forget, if you've selected mm. a day and then you, mm. you know, real, you're mm. like, oh, no, and I haven't, mm. you know, done the mm. actual date mm. yet. You can um, you can change your selection. I don't want to put it on that rag, Papa's, but I'll spray it on this one for you to clean. Here, use this one to clean, and then this one to wipe it off. There you go. You got it, baby. Hand beaded, painted, and quilted. Or ooh, Tina, that sounds beautiful. All right, so can you just see what I did there? It's very subtle. If I show you this side, I don't even know if you will actually, oh, you can tell. So it's very subtle, and that's what you want when you're doing, you know, any of your putting depth in. You just want just that little bit of, you know, almost. I don't know, like a halo, I guess, around it, if you will. Are you done, baby? I'll put it right there because knowing you, you're not done. And if you are new, that little guy who's been talking, that's Troy. So he's uh, very much part of the lives. <laughs> and I think because Onyx went for her walk and Jack, that they're, they're sleeping, they're worn out. So usually you'll hear them barking up a storm too. What do you need? Huh? I can't find any bottles. I don't know how to do it anyways, as much as I've watched. We love our trivia. Yes. Hi, Marilyn. Did I say hi to you, Marilyn? I don't think I did. I'm sorry. Awesome. Hi, Barbara Ross. I posted me opening. Oh, I want to see. Hi, Michelle. You went to Hobby Lobby without me? What the heck? Did you get anything good? Papa's not very much will fit in there. You don't. You just want it filled to the brim? All right. I, the last two days, um, Troy Troy has been... Um, Look, he's looking at me like, don't be talking about me, Mom. Troy Troy's been very, like, not clingy, because he doesn't cling, but he's wanted my attention a lot more the last couple of days. So I think it's time for us to take a, like, a trip out to, you remember that, that Goodwill that he really liked, that he found all of those doggone phone cases at? Because we do little outings, you know, like his Dollar Tree. He loves his Dollar Tree. and But I think, like, we need to, Mom and Troy need to go out thrifting and let him do his thing out there. I think he just needs to do something for him. He's getting a little bored. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. So actually we, um, Onyx is, um, our pup. Well, I guess she's, she can still consider a puppy. I think so. She just turned a year old. She's the, our blue Merrill cardigan Welsh Corgi. And then we have a Shih Tzu. 
and he's an old man, and he doesn't uh, doesn't like Onyx still, so that's usually why you hear all the chaos, because she wants to play with him, and he doesn't want to play. I will tell you guys that everything that I used um, all the way up till yesterday, I did put it in the description. So if you guys are looking for anything and then um, all of this extra stuff that I used today, I will update it. All right, so now this brush needs a little cleaning because it's not going to do what I want. So I'm just going to take a baby wipe because this is what I'm using to pick up my excess, right? So if I've got, if it's got too much on there it, uh, itself, it's not going to do what I need. So, you know, I'm just going to dry it off and now it's good to go again. There we go. Okay, and then I think we just have this one side for whatever reason. Hi, Beth. Hi, Connie. How are you? Um, so Troy has, um, he, his gross motor skills, he's, he's a small guy. He's, Troy's only 4'11". And, um, so he has, we have to be careful with his balance. So he can't, let's say for instance, he was sitting in the middle of a room. He can't just stand up freely. He needs to actually, you know, like crawl over to the couch and then help himself up. So he could probably sit in a trampoline while I jump up and down and then he would crack up just bouncing <laughs> But yeah, he actually couldn't, he couldn't jump in it himself. We had um, a big trampoline when we lived um, in San Bernardino. And we actually, me and Trevor and Troy, we spent the night out in the trampoline. And Jack, at that time, we covered it. We made it all comfy with a bunch of pillows and blankets and slept underneath the stars. And it was so fun until the crack of dawn and the birds were chirping and Jack started barking. And I was like, oh, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> because one thing about Troy is once Troy is up, he is up. There is no Go back to sleep, Troy. Uh-uh. He's up and he is ready for the day. And I remember that so well because it was like 5 o'clock in the morning with Jack barking and the birds chirping and the other neighborhood dogs barking. And I was like, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> Needless to say, we never slept on the trampoline again. <laughs> like, good Lord. Look at how pretty that is, y'all. Just that little bit of definition and depth in there. Oh, my goodness. And then with our gold, it just... Oh, come on, Sue. So you know. Hi, Pondia. Hi, Mom Pat. How are you? You know, I am not a morning person. I'm a night owl. I stay up. My sleep habits are bad anyways, but I stay up late. So, I mean, getting up at six in the morning to take Trevor to work for his internship has been not nice. But five in the morning... On a weekend, no ma'am. Yeah, I do have bad sleeping habits. I really do. Hi, Jamie. 
Hi, Mel. How are you? So good to see you. All right. Now let's just get a little bit up under here. And I was looking at the bottle, y'all, and wondering, like, if I should put a topper in it. And I don't think I'm going to, actually. I don't think uh, this one's going to have a topper. I kind of just like it as it is. All right. What do we think? I go to bed at 2 a.m. and wake up at 10 a.m. See, that I would probably wake up at that time, too, if I could. But I, yeah, and even when I do go to bed, yeah, I'm always up, you know. I, I have very, very broken sleep. It's It's been that way for a while now. Do we love it? When I get up and check Facebook, I see that you just posted something. <laughs> so I'm just blending. But I just, I am so happy with it now. We've made it pop off of here now. Now it's got dimension. Um, I did handle it quite a bit. Um, so if you, this is what I did last time and it dropped. If you wanted to um, go back in and do a little bit more of like the gold or the, um, the chameleon, just to kind of top it off again, um, which I might just do just on... So I'm just going to go just where I was handling it a lot, you know, because the wax, you do need just like anything else. Your wax needs some time to set. And so just grabbing it a lot, it's, you know, you're going to wear it until it sets down. So I'm just going to hit it just a couple of places here and there. Because I can tell where I've been grabbing it. Whoop, we don't want the black. There we go. And let's, not even loading it back up, let's do. And you, little guy. There we go. Now let me. I still work from home after. I get scared about all my don't fall asleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I might fall asleep for like an hour or two and then I'm wide awake and then I'll fall asleep and then I'm wide awake. It's, it's icky. Do we like it? Can you believe it? I think we're done with it. Hi, Miss Shauna. How are you? So happy to see you. Thank you. So if anticipating that we would finish this. I did grab something else that we can pull out and work on. Hi, Mary Casey. I didn't even see you come in. So I can leave you guys, which is really early, under an hour, or we can start something new. Let me put my finger in there so I can let the wax set up. And I'll just give it a little twirl. And then, like I said, I will um, I will finish up the bottom now that it's done. And then once it everything sets down, I will come in and seal it all with a varnish. Um, <clears throat> so that's just the way I roll. I always seal everything. So... You know, it's personal preference if you want to or not, but 
Yeah. I love it. Hi, Yvonne. Wait, what? Oh, I'm so sorry, Yvonne. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Joy. All right, so shall we do something? I pulled out a cigar box that I have had here for a while that I haven't done anything with. <clears throat> we can start to play with that, or I can let you guys go. Gail, I will use my pin art um, varnish. So just my Pintart Glossy Varnish. Thank you, guys. Start a new project with Purple Sparkle. <laughs> There's Martin. <laughs> All right, so shall we? So this is just a, um, I actually have an actual cigar box, but I can't bring myself to use it, and I don't know what I'm saving it for. So, but this is just, I don't know. I might have gotten this one from Walmart, I think. I think this one came from Walmart. So this is just, no, no cigar box. No cigar box, please. No, you don't want me to do a cigar box, Miss Shauna? Um, so, I mean, cigar boxes are so fun, right? Because you can do just about anything to it that you want. Um, let's start with... I love cigar boxes. I made cigar box purses, and my son sold them for me, but has passed away now, so I haven't made one since he's gone. Oh, but what a great idea. A cigar box purse. I don't think that's going to fit in there, y'all. And I can't find who's been over here. In my stash, maybe this one will fit. No, don't want you to leave. Okay. We're right near the outlet, so we get them fairly good price. If you're there quick enough. Oh, I bet. I bet they get. I get. I bet they get swooped up quick. But I have one. <clears throat> My friend Nikki gave me one, and it still smells just like um, cigars, you know. And it's a nice one, and I just can't bring myself to use it. And I, I, she's given it to me. Jeez, goodness gracious, it's been a while now, and I don't know what it is because I'm sure it would be beautiful, but. Oh, that is so sweet, Tracy. That's so sweet. You <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. So let's knock down those little holes. Whoa. Things are jumping out of my hands today. I'm just going to knock that back. As you know me, I always change hardware anyways most of the time. And that one was just... Troy, don't do that, Papas. Don't, don't do that to her. All right. So, I'm wondering, though, what we should do with this. Decoupage, and then maybe, I want to see what this, I've yet to use this frame, but I casted this, y'all, and it's beautiful. It's the frames in 
pendants from La Blanche, but do you see all of that gorgeous detail? But I also do have some of the bigger ones out as well. And then let, even was thinking about because Finnebear has this one, and that those are keys, if you can tell. But we would use just the outside of that as like a frame, if you will. And then this is a door. See, we have so much that we can work with here. This one is too, um, that one would be okay. But I think I want to do something cool with one of these. Actually, I kind of like the thin one because of the keys. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I know, Mom, Pat, that's so exciting. I actually have Robin on with me for Creative Hour at the beginning of the month. And she's like, the only way I wouldn't be there if baby came. And I was like, I think that's a perfectly fine reason to say hey, we can't do Creative Hour. <laughs> Hi, Marsha Jean. How are you? So do we like the keys? I want I either the keys, I like the frame too. I like the door because we can obviously just use the frame and not have the, you know, we can do anything with the door. We can leave it open. Um, we can prop them open. But I like how ornate this frame is, but I also like the keys because it's different. So thank you, Betty. So I don't know. You guys can tell me what you guys think. Door, key, or frame. And then I think what we'll do is just get a background paper. Um, oh, you guys can't see this. Who's excited for Decoupage Queen's spring release? Let me hide those. What the heck? Y'all, I'm telling you. I cannot wait. There's so many things that I want to do. So many projects I want to do. And I'm like, oh, I can't do them yet. <laughs> I got to wait. All right. Let's get some. I'm getting some background papers out. Um, keys have it. Are you sure? Oh, we've been doing sneak peeks, Miss Shauna. Keys, keys. Door. See, I I, don't, I love my Sue, but she'll tell me keys have it, and then it'll actually be like doors or something. The keys have it? Okay. All right. Just making sure. Now she's probably going to yell at me. Because I doubted her. <laughs> All right. Where's my background papers? Y'all got it? Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. See, we're creating on the fly here, y'all. So hold on a minute. So if we did the keys, could we have that? Could we have that in the background? What do we think about that? Or should we do like a true, a true plain background of like, you know, Like our, you know, like what I'm saying by like a true plain background of like one of these. Let's see. Don't yell at me. I like the blue too. Hold on. 
Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Don't start yelling at me. I already know y'all are probably going to yell at me because there's too many things going on. But hold on. I'm a sucker for keys. Six freaking keys. Please, Sue's yelling at me. I know it. <laughs> She's going to yell at me. Okay. So let's cast the key. Let's cast that mold. And then we can play around and see what, what we want to, you know, what we want to put it, what we want to put underneath it. And then um, we'll be able to kind of see from there what our paper and all that good stuff. I like the blue too. Yes, it would be like the entrance to the royal court. Oh, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good idea. When you said royal court, I was thinking something totally different. I was thinking of the business and the design team. I was like, wait, what? All right, so let's get out our scale. And Finn's molds are always amazing. I would bring out my um, resin table, but I don't have any issues um, pouring hers. So let's get some... Quick cast here. This is my alumilite. And I would give you the name, but it's rubbed off. <laughs> All right, so let's do 2960. And then 2960. Try, try. Don't walk out there, bud. I don't want you to get um, splinters in your hand, son. Holding on to the fence. Oh, yes. Yes. Actually, Lynn Perkins was doing that in our um, meet and mingle in our Zoom. I was thinking Teresa's Royal Court, too. And then, you know, I'm on the, the creative team. So my mind went all kind of crazy. I know, Miss Shauna. I know. Okay. So let's get this. Trying to see. I haven't poured this one in such a long time. Because I want it to be open, obviously. But this opening is going to be that keyhole. So that's why I'm saying I don't know if that, the crown, if we can get that to fit in there. But we'll see. All right. Let's not, let's not screw that up. So. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. So I over poured as usual. Um, I don't know. Let's do this little one. Or we'll see. Not little, but let's pour this one. So I always tell you guys, you know, when you're pouring resin, to always have some extra molds handy out, you know, because unless you, you're you used to, you know, pouring that same mold over and over, more than likely you're going to have over pour. So instead of wasting all of that resin, if you just have some extra molds next to you, you know, you can just use your your extra and and pour it in your other molds all right so hi veronica how are you well i was going to but um 
I actually have keys, so I would use the other keys, like the keys that I I have. Okay, so while we are waiting, and these will set up fairly quickly because they are bigger. So now I'm going to, so let's take this one out because I want to see if we can maybe get that one centered because it's a smaller part and because it's that keyhole we might be at least able to get that crown but i just don't know how off-centered the rest of that's going to be i mean because we can always add to it but you thought it was a bug Oh, because of like the, oh, I see it. I see that. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Okay. So what I'm going to look for really quickly is I don't think I have um, Bejewels in an A3, but I'm just going to look really quickly because if I do... Then I don't have to worry about playing around with getting it centered. But I think I used the A3 and I haven't ordered more. Mm. 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 What are you doing, Pops? You guys, so you know when I was in the um the event and do you remember that I was laughing because Troy was going, mm, 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 when he was eating? Well, I rewatched that. Um, I replayed it because I wanted to, you know, answer comments or anything, that any questions that anybody had. And I was cracking up because I can hear him going, mm, 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 when he was eating. <laughs> Yeah, it was cracking up. You guys all thought it was a bug, this one? Yeah, because, you know, sometimes you can't hear background noises in my videos because I have it blocked. And so sometimes, like, even when other people are talking, you, it'll it'll be muffled. But it was so clear, his mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> my gosh, Troy. And then he did it twice. I was cracking up. Yes, he was eating his chicken nuggets. And I was hungry, remember? So I was asking everybody, you know, what they had for dinner. And it was just funny because the timing of it, he just, mm, 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 mm. Oh, my gosh, Treese. It was so funny. Okay. So let's see. Because, you know, obviously, so what we would have to do, if we liked the way this looked in the keyhole, we would actually have to take that part off and then continue it over here, which is fine, because this is going to be about center, right? So if that's about center, then all of this outside would need paper, which is about what's out there. Unless we just use a true background and then find something else to place in the middle of that, like, you know, a different element of some type. That was the first video you watched of me, Barbara? <laughs> Well, thanks for coming back. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for spreading the chaos. Yeah, so this um, Friday, when we do um, Happy Mail, I have that Chanel bag, and then I will put um, goodies in that Chanel bag and outside of it, you know, um, but that Chanel bag will be in Happy Mail. So, um 
but yeah, that was it was it was cracking me up. And I told Nick about it too. I said he was a, he was <laughs> he had his table side table set up right by me, and he was <laughs> he was going to town. Okay. So while we're waiting for that, whatever we're going to do to this, we're going to have to paint this white. So I'm just going to take my Waverly plaster and let's go ahead and because whenever you're decoupaging, right, you always do want um, a light background to get the, the true colors of your paper to show through. So I keep telling myself to change this bottle. And of course, I don't think of it until I'm about to use it. What, baby? Are you buying something? What are you doing? I don't want all of the... I'm surprised this isn't making jack bark. Oh. All right. Well... Scratch that. So whenever I'm painting just the backgrounds, I tend to just use my the Waverly and not my um, Pintart chalk paste, just because you know the Waverly it price point is so much better when you're just using it for a base coverage. So, all right. Yeah, empty bottle doesn't help whether the hole is uh, opened or not. What pops? Oh, charge it, baby. Mama put your phone, um, the phone cord, the red one right there. Charge it. And then by the time we're done painting this, we will definitely be able to take the molds out. So as usual, anytime you're using the raw wood like this, you are going to lift the wood fibers. So we're going to have to knock those back. So I'll get the gator and then we'll knock that back so that it will be Smooth to touch because you definitely don't want to just leave it like that. Especially, I always say, especially if you're going to put the rice paper over it because it just, it won't give you that smooth look. It'll look like little, like there's, you know, fuzz or something underneath the paper um, because of the wood fibers lifting. So we're just going to come in here and I'm going to change it, but I'm going to take another 600 because, again, you're just knocking those fibers down. You're not trying to, you know, like sand off a layer or anything. So I'm just putting another 600 back on. And then when you're sanding it, you just want to feel it smooth to touch. <laughs> I have to be, Lisa. Otherwise, he'll give me a piece of his mind. He'll be over here telling me something. Absolutely, Tina. Please do. Absolutely. I love seeing your guys'... Like I said, whatever your craft is, it doesn't have to be upcycling or mixed media. It could be knitting. It could be... You know, the diamond art paints, it could be painting, whatever your craft is, you are absolutely, absolutely welcome to post in there. And um, also, if you're new to me, I do have Telegram. And so if you'd like to sign up for my Telegram, I always send out a notification about 15 minutes before I'm going live. Um, but if you don't like, and it's a free app, and if you don't want to do that, 
I always put my post my live events the night before. So if you click, uh, click going or interested, it helps. It helps with the possibility of getting a notification from the book. I'll just say that because it's not always reliable. But if you have my telegram, I'll always be sure to. Except for that one time. <laughs> okay, so you can see how now this is opaque, so it's pretty much ready. Um, and this one was finished quicker than the other because as we are pouring this, right, the open time was already, um, you know, coming down to coming down to the wire. So this one's set up quicker. It's still pliable. So it's not set all the way, but I'll just show you guys what this one looks like. But look at all that detail. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? It's got so much detail in that mold. It's gorgeous. All right. Yes, so, and then what tool is this, Miss Tina? This is just a gator sander. I think that I think that's the only tool I use. Okay, so let's demold this one. If I wasn't live, I could let this sit, you know, for a couple more minutes. But it doesn't hurt to take it out right now. This is just, you know, this would be the perfect time to take it out if you wanted to wrap it around something or, you know, mold it to to some curved surface of any sort. Um, this is, you know, when you would want to demold it because it <clears throat> hasn't fully set yet, so it's super pliable. But look at how cool that is. All right, so show you when it's not on top of the, the white. Oh, that doesn't help. Okay, so if we did that, and where is our... So I'm thinking either just the crown or just the moth. Or do we not do it at all and change the background and then maybe put our own crown or something in there ourselves? <laughs> Um, the group is, if you're looking for the group, um, Sue just posted links to the group, the black one. Oh, this is my, um, my vacuum. This is in my Amazon store too. So this side is a vacuum and this side is a blower. So it blows air and then it sucks on this side. So it's a double. It's a double. Hi, Tina. So the group is called Cra Crafting Chaotix. It looks like the mirror frame from the Snow White movie the Queen looked into. Ooh. All the little angels in the center. We could do that, too. So that's what I was thinking is maybe... Maybe we use like a, you know, just a proper background and then we put, you know, we put something, our own little something, something in there. Because you guys know I have a bunch of little, I have little molds or, you know, we have all kinds of goodies that we can put back here. So do we do plain then? Should we go like a planar background and then build around the mold per se? This one too, look. What is this? Something is. It's like a. 
don't know. I could see it. All right. The blue paper is pretty. Love the blue. Okay, so this is Blue Brocade, and this is Decoupage Queen. Um, let's look at Blue Patchwork, too. Just for kicks and giggles. So... We'll keep it plain. We'll keep it just a, not plain, but just a, you know, a background paper. And then we'll put in our own elements around it. The blue background. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's do it. So I'm guessing that the blue is probably not going to be long enough. Am I, li am I missing like a whole rack of papers? I am. It's back here. I knew I wasn't crazy, y'all. Hold on a minute. I was like, I'm missing a whole bunch of A3 papers. This is just becoming a little bit craziness now. There we go. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Goodness gracious, you would think this is my first day here. Holy guacamole. So I'm going to take my decoupage varnish and glue, the mat. I am going to use my felt squeegee. And let's get down some of the glue. Do you have a specific way you organize your rice papers besides size? Yes, I do. You guys like the patchwork? <laughs> yes, I do. So I have like all of my backgrounds together. I have, you know, flowers together. I have, you know, angels, fairies together. So yeah, I do organize it that way. Otherwise, I will literally be looking through you know, hundreds and hundreds of rice papers and it'll be a little bit crazy. So when I put my rice paper down, I always go in sections. I do not put glue on, you know, the whole way down. So I am just going to actually go this way first because I can't see the line. Y'all know I can't see well. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. So now I'm going to use my squeegee to move that product underneath and also I want to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Okay. Then I'm going to lift and then continue. Now I will get telegram. Hi, Carrie. How are you? It is a very pretty blue. Yeah, but so I have so many rice papers that I, you know, I can't. Like, some people can keep them in, like, binders and stuff like that. I would end up having too many binders. And I already, as it is, have four of the pant racks with, you know, multiple holders on each. So, that's the only way that I have figured that works for me is just... So, I still have to go through it. Like, you see, like, okay, if I want a background, I still have to go through 
you know, the, the folder, but at least I'm not trying to go through all the papers at once. It's a little crazy. All right. Okay, now I will use the gator that has the 600. You'd never want to use a low grit sander, always a very fine grit, because um, you don't want to tear up the paper or the project. Always in a downward motion. I'm trying to hold open the lid. And I know, you know, because I've even heard a few people say, you know, they use the low grit and it takes it off so quickly. It, it does, but it will also, you know, rip up your paper and also, you know, tear up your, like, for instance, the wood underneath. If it was already painted, you'd end up having to paint that again because you're using such a, you know, a low grit. Right. This actually has the wood from when I was sanding, so I'm going to change it. I started doing sections since I started watching you learning from the best. Oh my gosh, that's so that's so kind of you. Thanks, Tina. How do you organize yours, Cindy? What do you keep it in? Do you keep them like in a binder or do you have them just clipped together or something? Yeah, I just find, because even though rice paper, it, you know, it's pretty durable, right? Um, I just find, because there are some times where you need to lift it up and reposition it. And if you're, you know, it's easier just to lift a little section, you know, and reposition it at the first go rather than trying to lift the whole paper off. So... And you always want to, you know, make sure, especially if you're using the gator, don't come at it this way. Because if you come at, even if you're going just downward this way, you're going to grab the paper and you're going to pull the paper and you're going to sand, you know, sand off some of your actual, that ink. Just like, see how we're doing here? You're going to, it's going to get that way if you got your gator at a 90 degree. So there's our top. And then we'll save this just in case we want to do some along the sides. Now you always want to come back and put a protective layer of whatever glue, mosh posh, the varnish, whatever you're doing. You always want to come back and put on another top layer. I always say it just gives you that little bit of, you know, time in case you're painting and you get a little bit of paint on your rice paper and you want to wipe it off. Well, if you wipe it off without having some type of protectant down, you're going to wipe that ink away and more than likely mess up your paper. All right. And then we want to come around our edges because we want to get all those fibers from when we were taking it off with the gator. And then we're good with that. Hi, Judy. Thank you. I have a portable filer, but I was 
filing by brand. Oh, I tried to do that when I first had rice papers. That worked out fine when I only had a couple. But because I did try to do it that way too, Cindy. But I also found when I did it that way that I was forgetting that I had papers. Um, you know, because I would forget to pull that brand out or whatnot. But now if you have them all mixed in by whatever style, you know, however you want to organize it, then you're not forgetting about papers. Decoupage, decoupage. <laughs> All right, so now we've got to figure out, though, what color we want to paint this beautiful thing. So I think what we'll do first is whenever you have your, um, whenever you have your resin castings, you do need to put a primer on them so that your paint does not slip off. Right, so I'm just going to use the acrylic white primer by Pintart, <clears throat> and I'm just going to put some primer down, and so this will give it that tooth that you need for your paint to stick to. Um, you know, I, I know some. Sometimes this gets skipped, um, and sometimes I even do it too, especially when I'm on a live and I'm trying to move quickly, but it is better if you prime your, your resin pieces prior to you painting it. So if you've ever painted a piece and your paint has slipped off, don't blame the paint just yet. It might not be the paint. It could be because you haven't primed it. I do that too, Tina. So yeah, I have all of my Christmas papers together, my Valentine's, my Easter. So yeah, I do do that. Hi, Betty. Thank you. So, yeah. So, and then usually, because I keep them all on. So, I have them all in these folders. And then they're on pant hangers, right? The, the multiple pant hanger. So... What I'll do is, when it's Christmas papers, I'll rotate them to the back of the whatever file it's on. I'll rotate it to the rotate it to the back of that hanger, and then you know, so it's not always up front when I'm looking for papers. And then when that season comes up, then I pull it back up to the front. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, so I actually have four of those hangers. And then on each hanger, there's probably about, I don't know, mm, so I will usually keep like about, you know, four or five of these pockets on each clip. So... All right, I knew, oh, there it is. All right. So now we are at 
what, an hour and 45 minutes. So we will we'll paint this and then when we come back tomorrow, we'll figure out what kind, what trims we want to put on the box because I definitely want to put trims on the box, whether it's trims or molds. And then, um, you know, start figuring out if we want to put corners on here or what other goodies we want to put on here. If I don't have the expensive pinch art products and I just use off paint as a primer. Yes, Peggy, you can. So you can just go ahead and use like your Waverly um, chalk paint. I like it. I like it. So what color are we thinking, though, on top of this? I'm going to put it on here only because that's not dry all the way. I actually am thinking to pull out. Where is my, come out, come out wherever you are. So yeah, absolutely use what you have. You don't need to, you know, have the, the same primers or whatnot, but where is my dark? Well, fine. I'm trying to think if we want to do like a deep, deeper brown color on here, or do we want to go see like a brown Van Dyke? I'm kind of wondering where my... Where do you order the cover you keep here? Oh, they're in my Amazon store, Sandy. They're in my Amazon store. Do we like the brown with the blue or should we go? Um, I actually have a deep gold too. Hmm. Or should we go black? Should we paint it black? And then bring out some different colors. Kind of looks like me. Huh? Say what? What you talking about, Willis? Trying to see if there's like a color I haven't used in a while, but nothing is grabbing me. That one is, you know, our good old antique copper. I don't want to do tone on tone again. Patina. We could do patina. Like patina it. A patina green or patina the door, Patty? Are we, my, uh, I don't know if we're going to be going. Am I? Ugh, patina might be. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, never mind. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow and figure out what to paint the keys. Um, because we went all over the place black and add color, graphite, brown and turquoise, patina. 
indigo blue, then highlight with gold or brass, black and different colors. Gold is always good. <laughs> See what happens? And then I was just going to say, but where is the purple sparkle, Martin? And then he puts it in. Purple sparkle. Antique gold looks good. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't, the antique, oh, the antique copper was this one. Um, let me see that color again. Oh, okay. I was going to say that is not the right color. So tomorrow when we come back, we will figure out, um, what color to paint, what's going to be our second color. And then I'll pull out the trims because how cool is that going to be? We have all of this that we can trim out. And we still have all of this to work with inside too. So we will definitely trim it out. I'll pull out some corners too to see if maybe we want to, you know, do some corner stuff. And then I'll also pull out um, some goodies to put inside of the door. So anyhow. Thank you guys for being here. I vote. I and then okay. See, and then we have the rose gold. I mean, I was wondering about you and Martin. No rose gold. No purple sparkle. I'm like, what's happening? Hi, Debbie Walker. How are you? So tomorrow we will be back, same time, same place as always. You know, I I can't thank you all enough for joining me. Um. I, there is a handful of you guys that are here every single day, and I appreciate that so very much. Um, but I hope you have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Don't forget, if you want to go over to Team BFF, hey, nobody told me my life wasn't on today. Oh, that's pooper scoopers. Um if you want to head over to Team BFF2 uh, for jewelry, $5 jewelry, Monica will be on at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So that's 4 o'clock my time, right? So, yeah, like in an hour. So, anyhow, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great evening. See you later.